Uh, we are not here to allow for impropriety. The Prime Minister James Marape stated that forming a government is a matter of great seriousness and should involve in structuring an alternative policy program aimed at outperforming the current government's achievements. The Prime Minister said those aiming to govern should cease their smear campaign against him and produce constructive policies. On Wafi Golpo, we need to conclude on Pinyang gas. We need to ensure that program that we've started up under new arrangement, 51% to PNG beneficiary, 49% to our former investor who held 95%. That we negotiated in this parliament. Uh, that we passed through matters in this parliament. It is now three months into being fired up. Very soon it will be asked to go to Pogra to receive the first gold produced under the new arrangements. That is important for our economy. We need to bring wildebeest to be LNG that shapes out to be the biggest LNG in our country to be crossed. We need to you know, do more work. The unemployment issues raised by go the uh, uh, governor for East Sipic the other time is absolutely correct. We're redefining the def definition of employment by trying to create SME opportunity for our people in their country. These work are huge before us. We don't need to contest unnecessary like, like little children in this floor of parliament. If you have the numbers, produce your numbers. I want to assure this country, our investors, everyone, my side of government will not run away from the process of water, no confidence. With the recent parliament sitting the past few days, the Prime Minister stated that the proposed alternate government must seize their character assassinations and negative personality attacks in the public space and be constructive and present forthcoming alternative policy outlooks. He further added that leading a country is not a fantasy that one can simply wake up to and it requires deep commitment and vision. With that, he highlighted that the core team he has now comprises of members of the parliament who have supported him since the government's formation and remained intact since. Having the former opposition leader Joseph Lelang joined amidst a political smear campaign. Regardless, the prime minister said they are not bothered by the vote of no confidence and remain committed to their projects and policies focusing on empowering Papua New Guineans and enhancing the nation's prosperity in various sectors and the special economic zone.